In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your hairstyle, add weapons, and also attach accessories, like an autism pin. First, let's learn how to change your hair. Go find a hairstyle that you like by going to booth.pm and searching your avatar's name plus hair. If you don't like the results, then go to here in the upper right and sort it a different way. When you find a hairstyle that you like, just download it and install it as usual. Now turn off your avatar's hair parts and set them to editor only. Now go to the file explorer and find your prefab for your hair and then drag it into the root of your avatar. Now here on the left in the hierarchy, you want to go into the amateur and find the head. So amateur, hips, uh, spine, chest, neck, and head. Okay, got it. Then the hair that we just dragged in the root, you want to drag it into the head. Like that. And that's it. We can test if we installed it correctly in Unity by going to the play button up here, selecting the scene again, and then going to this rotation button in here in the upper left. And then we want to select the head in the hierarchy on the left. And then we can try to rotate the head. So as you can see, it's moving with the head. So we installed our hair correctly. When you're done, just press play again to exit. Now let's add the blicky. First, you need to find a gun FBX file or Unity package file. I like to find weapons on Booth, Gumroad, and VRCmods.com. If it's a Unity package, you can install it as usual. And if it's an FBX, you can just drag it into the file explorer on the bottom. From here, you want to go into the armature. And you want to find the right hand. So let's close the neck. And then we want to go to right shoulder, and then upper arm, and then lower arm, and then hand. And now you want to drag your gun's FBX file or prefab into the right hand. Just like that. So as you can see, it's not facing the right way, so you can use the rotation tool to rotate it. And if you go in the upper left, you can use this move tool right here, and then you can move it freely. All right, we got the pointer finger on the trigger, so that looks good. Let's test it just like we tested the hair. Press the play button, go back to the scene, press the rotation button, and then select the right hand, and we can try rotating the hand. Great, the gun is moving with the hand. I like guns. Now let's try adding the autism pin. Just import it into the game as usual, and then think about where you want to add it. You could put it on your hair, or you could put it on your chest or clothing, or if you have a bag, you can even put it on your bag. I think I'm going to add it to my avatar's chest. So what I'm going to do is go to the hierarchy on the left and open the armature and find the chest. Here it is. And I'm going to drag and drop my pin into the chest. And now I got to put it in the right place. I'm going to rotate it a little to give it a little more style. All right, I think this looks good. So let's test it. Go to the plus er, the play button. Go to scene, select the rotation button. Then let's rotate the chest. Perfect. Okay, now the final test. Let's actually try it in VR chat. All right, I have new hair working perfectly, and I got my Beretti. Here, you can have a closer look. And I didn't tell you, but I got a Karambi, a Karambarino. Isn't that cool? Oh, also, I have my autism pin. I think the autism pin is perfect. So would you look at that? We managed to add all of our accessories correctly. Let's go! Now what if you want to toggle your weapons on and off? Well, some people do that in VRChat, but I really don't recommend it. Because when you make toggles, they can randomly break themselves or even sometimes break your project. It's not as easy as like equipping and unequipping items in a video game. Actually, under the hood of your avatar, you need to do some logic programming, even for the most simplest toggles. So for now, here's the easy and foolproof way to do it where you don't have to go under the hood. First, select your avatar with a weapon, and then duplicate it. Then on your new avatar, you want to find your weapons. And after you hide them, you want to set them to editor only. And then you want to select the base, and then go to detach. And after you detach it, you want to re-upload. And that's it. So if you want to take off these weapons, then just go to your avatar selection screen, and select your new avatar. See? No more weapons. Now I can go to school. So yeah, I know it's not as cool as having toggles, but right now, you're just a beginner. Later on, when you learn everything else, you can get to learning the logic behind toggles. Because if you mess up your FX layer without any backups, then your whole project is done for. Anyway, now, let's talk about wearing shoes, because it's kind of different from every other accessory. A lot of shoe armatures look like this. It has the armature, and then lower leg left, and then foot left, and then toe left. And then lower leg right, foot right, and toe right. So how do you install this into your avatar? You can't really drag it into foot because it has lower leg, right? So here's how to do it. 
First, you right click and you go to unpack prefab completely. And then you drag it into the root of your avatar. And then you have to drag the shoe's lower leg into your avatar's lower leg. So lower leg into lower leg. And then you have to do the shoe's left foot into your avatar's left foot. And then your shoe's left toe into the avatar's left toe. And then you take the shoe's lower leg right into the avatar's lower leg right. And then the shoe's foot right into the avatar's foot right. And then the shoe's toe right into the avatar toe right. Yeah. And now let's test it. All right, looks good. So, you want to see my Jordans in VR chat? Wait a second, the socks and the feet are poking through. We have to remove them. Okay, I wonder if you guys are wondering, technically a small minority of shoes do work with modular avatar, but most of them do not. So you've got to manually install shoes most of the time. Okay, so pretty cool, right? It's working perfectly. Look at that. In the next video, I'm going to teach you guys how to toggle your items on and off. So if you want more tutorials like this, then like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then leave a comment. See you guys next time.